The plane's getting off, people are getting their bags out of the overhead, and Ryler says, I know I slept good, because I had a dream about Justin Bieber. Aloha and good morning, everyone. Aloha. Hello. <laughs> Guys, a bonus aloha from Maui today because we are starting our yes. adventure home. Guys, can you believe it? I know we've done a red eye with the kids. We in did fact, a red I think eye. It was Oahu last time. Two Turks and Caicos, actually. So we did a was red it? eye, two Turks and Caicos. And that, that one was, was tough because ago. when you get yeah. there, you're ready to have some fun, but you've got to recover. This yes. one, not as bad because when we get home, we have the full day to recover. The kids yes. don't have to go to school if they don't want to. But Rock Guy's saying that he wants to go to school. You guys, do you to. think. Give this video a thumbs up right now. If you think he will make it to school, if he sleeps on the flight we're gonna let him yeah. go i just don't want to like miss all that work i know i, I love this kid he takes after stuff. his sister maddie used to say that all the time we're like what are you thinking it's vacation and she's like but i gotta stay on top of my studies i know they I are know. better kids so than good. mom and i these kids don't have to go to school they're able to make it's up the stuff a little more easily we're at the hotel we have had them holding our bags for a while because we went and had some fun so if you guys haven't seen that video go watch yesterday's spent a video it was full day on maui fun. really we yeah. have, were able to spend an entire day here but it is now nighttime we're flying home 12 30 a.m utah time it's 8 30 in hawaii so not that big of a deal but it is technically 12 30 a.m on a Wednesday, so that's why we're kicking this vlog off right now as we head home, jump on this flight, take the red eye, see if Red Guy goes to school. Let's see if we sleep at all. I think we will. I think we're pretty oh, worn down do. from one of the greatest vacations of our lives. Did you guys have a good time on this oh, vacation? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So Has awesome. this been pretty legendary? Yeah. You guys, it's been so great. I cannot believe how fast time flies in Hawaii. I'm pretty sure it's only in Hawaii. They say that time slows down because they don't keep as tight of schedules here, but I would contest that they actually accelerate time here I think because that they must. anytime you're here, it's never long enough. It goes so quickly. I can't believe that we were here over a week and it seems like just yesterday we were checking. I know. It's time to grab our bags, load up the car, and head to the airport, start this flight home. We picked up some additional baggage on our way home. I mean that both literally and figuratively because we have a lot of bags in the back, but we also have Woo! Dan and Jill in the house because they were going home with us because you know what? They live in Utah where it's snowing too. Misery loves company. We're all going back to the snow, guys. No! <laughs> but I do think before we head back to the airport because we're flying through the night tonight, we're going to be staying up all night partying together on the airplane. I think we better get some food. Is everybody hungry? I'm hungry. Do we want to get some food? We hungry. Okay, let's grab some food. I think we've got everything. We've got right guy back here, a sandwich with Michelle. They've got bags in between their legs on the ground. Daniel's back there somewhere. Daniel, oh, there he is. Daniel's back there behind the bag. We got three more kids in the back and about nine more bags. I got a big bag in my lap right here. Mom's got a bag over there, but we all fit in this cozy suburban. So we're going to take how many of us are there? Nine, eight, There's eight of us. us. Sorry, Maddie, immediately thought that you were with us, but you're not. Aww. Sad face. But we are going to take all eight of us and our 22 bags, including souvenirs, to the airport, get this car returned, get some food, and then get ready for the long flight home. Hopefully it goes by quickly because we're all asleep. We have arrived at the airport, dropping off this bad boy. It has taken very good care of us while we've been here on Maui, getting out the many, many bags. But that is what's great about having a rag guy with you. He loves to yeet those bags in and out of the car. I think it's a subtle flex for him, but hey, it helps us because we don't have to get them in and out of them. Some of them are pretty heavy. Bags coming out right now. Getting ready, Kruby Doo, showing off one of those subies. So sick. Wrapping our bags out, our carry-ons. I do think that we all seem pretty tired. Hoping we can get some sleep on this flight. That is the idea. Kruby Doo, do you think you're gonna be able to sleep on this flight? I can sleep about anywhere, so yeah. Yeah, because if you have. I haven't seen the video where we did the red eye to Turks and Caicos. You've got to watch that because I was getting such a kick out of crew falling asleep, like his head on literally like the metal armrest, hanging out into the aisle. And when they'd come by with the drink cart, they would like prop him up and push him into the seat. Like he didn't even disturb him. He didn't even wake up. I'm hoping I sit by you. You sleep really well, and maybe that will help me to sleep as well. Yeah. Configuration on this plane is going to be in twos, so there's sets of two. So there's going to be two people space, two people in the space. So we're in that comfort plus again, just once again the premium select. Stoked about that because we're going to be able to put our feet out. Got the little feet recliner. The seats go back pretty far. I hope we're not distracted by the technology, the remotes, all the fun stuff. Just want to get some sleep. You want to actually use that as a bed and sleep. Maybe. <laughs> Who's this? It's me. It's me. Once 
successfully through the agricultural inspection, the three-step checking process. You gotta put your bags through agricultural inspection first, checking for any fruits, fruit flies, bananas, oranges. Then you rearrange your luggage to get out all of your sweatshirts because when you get home, it's gonna be 40 degrees and snow on the I driveway. Know. So get those sweatshirts out, get them ready. We are leaving Maui, leaving the beautiful temperatures here, but headed home to much colder weather. Also, Easter has sprung here at the Maui airport. We got the Easter bunny. I don't know if he's arriving or if he's leaving. I guess these are the departures right here, so. Time that one pretty perfectly just as we arrived. The rest of the flight showed up right behind us, so the line got pretty long pretty quick. We're headed now through security and hoping that we can catch some food before we have to get on this plane because while well, they might serve some snacks, it's gonna be in the middle of the night, hoping that we're gonna be asleep for that. And also, it's not really quite enough. No, those little Biscoff cookies are not gonna keep us fed through the night. We are in luck, we have had success. We have found a place to eat, so we are going to be eating. It's like one spot called Sammy's, I think. Sammy's Beach Bar and Grill. Now it is not by the beach, it is in the airport, but nothing else is open right now. The sit down restaurant wasn't exactly what we were looking for. We we're looking for more grab and go, but like I said, the only restaurant, the only game or name in town open right now, and we're hungry. We're getting ready to we're board hungry. a flight through the night. We gotta eat, and I think we're pretty stoked on what we're getting. Beach burgers, big old fatty beach burgers, burgers. some shrimp tacos. I don't know that we've ever eaten this well before we get on a flight. I know. Before. I promise you we would get confirmation on the actual name of the blowhole. Now I know that was yesterday, yesterday's vlog, but it is Nakalele, I'm just told by Daniel, who has a wealth of knowledge, a never ending fount and source of all things he knowledge. He knows a lot. And mayonnaise. I've like, never seen him put so much mayonnaise on that every... plate. <laughs> Stays up late and researches all the things. Before he we went to Mokalini Crater. Mokalini. <laughs> Mokalini, though. What did you call it? Mokalini. That sounds like a drink. Another Mokalini. Make that uh, too. Molokini. He did like all this research telling us all the random facts you could want to know. He's a wealth of of knowledge. Indy is actually posting about that. Naka Lele posting on our Instagram. So make sure you're following on there. At this is how we've been going. So we've got a ton of fun stories, some reels, great posts. Michelle has been putting our Insta on fire with her photography. Our best pictures always come on these vacations when she comes because she is just next level, making us look real, real good. She really is. We have had our meal. It was actually quite good. Fit the bill. We were very hungry. Came quickly. That also was nice. Now we're trying to grab some candy for the plane because you know we love that. And then also some quick last minute souvies. They're fun to get at the airport. You can get the chocolate macadamia nuts. You can get the shortbread cookies. Come here and they have all kinds of varieties. These are great things to take home. Friends, family, things like that. Bring a little piece of Heck the no, island home with you. I want these for me. These are milk chocolate biscuits. Okay, so one of those for us and then something else. for Really though, I want that. Get that. Okay, I will. <laughs> Hi right, guys, we are about on the plane. Just got a notification that we are boarding. Mom. Oh, she's back there. Through our second agricultural inspection, do the passed. checked bags in the first bit and then your carry-on bags in the second bit. But the plane is here. They're we boarding right now, running. actually. We're doing a little bit of running, but it was important that we got that meal in, so we got a chance to eat. I just keep thinking how nice it's going to be to finally sleep in a bed, and then I realize, oh, We're wait, not I'm doing not. that tonight. <laughs> I'm sleeping on a chair in an airplane. Soaking that heat and humidity. Headed home to the cold, dry oh, desert of Utah. <laughs> Hey, at least it's home and we do love home. Dude, you do get these headphones. Where are you guys at? We are right there. Okay. Oh, nobody's gonna be behind you. You can lay those all the way back. Kids getting settled, getting all of our bags put away, tucked in. We are once again in the Delta Premium Select, which we flew on the way out here. It was just a Comfort Plus ticket, but I guess on these longer flights, they've upgraded it to Premium Select. It's so cool. We love it, guys. Go back and watch our flight out here to kind of break down some of the features they have, but this time, we've got some nice noise-canceling headphones that everybody sees. It's both. spaced out a little bit differently. We've got two twos and two, so we've got me and Kruby here. I chose to sit by crew because he sleeps on the plane, and I'm hoping to get some sleep. I do have a lot of editing to do, so we'll see how much sleep I get. Across the aisle, we've got Rex and Ragai right there in the middle, and then back behind them, Mom and hazy and they actually have no one behind them so they can put those seats all the way all back the way they're going to be resting in style i hope i hope mom can get some rest hazy can get some rest and when we get home we don't necessarily have to go to school it's a short day for the kids at school on wednesday so if they miss not a huge deal if they want to go that's great if we feel rested if not we can go home unpack lay around do basically nothing <laughs> A little bit of recovery from our epic time in Hawaii, but we're about to take off right now. These Delta little comfy chairs and the layout is so nice. It makes it a hundred times different. So much better. Dude. We absolutely love it. It's so cool. We got the little feet things to go out so you can lay back, put your seat back, relax, throw a blanket on, throw on some noise canceling headphones, and just enjoy the ride. <laughs>
your local time is approximately 6 15 a.m. We have made it home. It is 6.15 a.m. here, Utah time. But it's not so much the time change, guys, as it is the temperature change. Yeah. Right, guys, what are the highs and lows of our day today? The high of today is 39, and the low is 30. Welcome back to Hawaii. We still keep it in that 10 degree flux, mm -hmm. you know? Like Hawaii was yeah. 70 to 80 range, high, low. We We're, like to keep that tight. Utah's pretty much Hawaii, guys. Yeah, it's so basically like the same here. thing, yeah. 30 to 39. Same. High of 39, snowing on the way in. Different. I cannot figure out what time of day, what day it is, because I kept thinking as we were approaching, it was dark out, it's still dark out because yeah. the sun hasn't come up yet. I just kept thinking to myself, man, when we arrive, I'm going to be so tired because it's going to be so late. We're going to have to go to the shuttle, get our bags, go get our car, and it's just so late. By the time we get home, it's going to be the middle of the night. And I was like, wait a minute. We just went through the middle of the night. Yeah. By the time we get into our car, the sun's coming up and the day is beginning. Yeah. Right, the big question on everyone's mind. You're going to school right now. I am. You are going to school right now. Yep. This guy's a savage. This guy's an absolute <laughs> boss. So, got to get our bags, get back out to our car, get home, and I still can't wrap my head around the fact that it's not nighttime. Yeah. We're not going to bed. The sun is about to come up. It's about to get brighter, oh, really and we're weird. about to face a new day. <laughs> What day is it again? Nope. Everyone arriving from Hawaii is on this carousel right now. You've got the people coming in from Honolulu, landed at the gate actually right next to the Maui arrivals. These boys' friends were getting off the plane from Honolulu. So they're best friends that they hang out with all of the time at home. We're getting off the gate same time right next to us from Honolulu. Their spring break in Hawaii. That was pretty cool to see them. We are now waiting for the Maui bags to arrive. We have arrived. Actually, we've arrived they're early. They're still in Maui. We should go back. They have not arrived. It's official. We are home. We are in Utah. And here's how you can tell. The windows are covered in frost from a fresh snow and freezing cold temperatures. But we've made it. We're here. It's morning time. We've done a red eye. I've done them for work. We've done them as a family. Yeah, I think what before. weirds me out is when you arrive and it's still dark, I just yeah. keep thinking that it's nighttime. But the day has begun. Sun is coming up over the mountains. Do you think at most we got about maybe two hours of sleep? Yeah. We would probably be wise to go and catch up on some more sleep. But I don't want to sleep later today because we're going to have a hard time going to bed tonight. Readjusting. On jet lagging. Getting back into the Groove of thing. We are home. We are back. Hey Zero, how did you sleep on the plane? So good. Uh, mom flight. said you slept the entire flight. I didn't even feel it, Mom. You didn't even notice that we went on a plane, did you? Yeah. Could we do? How did you sleep on there, bro? Not good at all. Not good? I noticed you were tossing and turning. Every time I saw you in the last two hours, anyway, you were out. Raga, how about you? How did you sleep on I slept that thing? For like four hours, so I slept pretty. Four well. hours out of six is pretty yeah. solid, bro. I had a dream about Justin Bieber. When the plane's getting off, people are getting their bags out of the overhead, and Ryder says as loud as possible. I know I slept good because I had a dream about Justin Bieber. It was weird. Because like usually I don't have dreams, but when I do sleep good, I have dreams yeah. and I dream about Justin Bieber and I met him, hung out with him. And I was, was like, Gregory, cool. that wasn't a dream. He came on the plane and thanked us all for that visiting Hawaii. Gregory, how did you sleep, bro? You sleep okay? Yeah. Yeah. Or my ears are numb immediately. I definitely did not dream about Justin Bieber. Did you guys, you I normally feel like I have this insane talent for sleeping on planes. I could not get could comfortable. Do. I was so frustrated. I normally cannot at all. Usually I definitely I think I probably slept for about two hours, which was awesome. I don't even awesome. think I slept for 45 minutes. Certainly that's not a, a night's worth of sleep but it was something you guys we're home Pizza bags in on. i'm ready to go get some hoodies maybe even winter coats gloves and beanies flip-flops <laughs> we saw a buddy of ours we met him in the airport on the way out and just kept running into him the entire time he's still in his swimming suit and tank top from <laughs> when he got on the plane in maui that's how you do it it was awesome <laughs> We are back home now, you guys, and this has to be the strangest school morning routine we've ever been a part of. We just got in the door after having been up for the last, doesn't really matter, but we have put our bags here in the corner, just unloaded from vacation. While we were doing that, Rye Guy has changed into his school clothes, and we are having breakfast, and we're about to start a new day. Strange way to kick off this school day. So Rye Guy did make it to school. He's on his way there right now, so if you got that right, if you hit the like button at the beginning of this video, you were correct. Congratulations. Yes. Good job. We're going to get these things stowed away, kind of recover a little bit this morning. Raga is going to go to school. I think the other ones are crashed almost asleep They're over there tired, on the couch. Yeah. And I think it's smart that they get some rest. Thankfully, some people got a little bit of rest on the plane, but I don't think two hours constitutes a night's worth of sleep. So Raga, you may need to take a little nap when you get home. Probably. <laughs>
What an upside down day we have had today. It is now nighttime. It is dinner time. The kids have been sleeping on and off throughout the day. Rye guy went to school, bro. How was school today? It was awesome. I loved it. I'm so impressed that you went. You had the honor roll assembly. It's kind of cool. Get up, honor the people who had the honor roll and then also the soaring citizen. Yeah. So that was very cool. Glad you went. Yep. Have you napped at all today since you've been home? Nope. Bro, I hope I you sleep good tonight. How. He's actually done really awesome. The other kids, I took a five hour nap. Yes, six five hours. hours, six hours, I think six hours. These guys slept amazing when we got home. Mom and I picked up a couple hours, I think, when we got home. I think we each slept for two hours this morning and then I caught a 30 minute afternoon. Another little afternoon nap, it's just been like on and off. But the nice thing is, everyone keeps telling mom, oh, I bet you've just got that mountain of laundry, all those suitcases full of things to put away. <laughs> mom rocked it while on vacay. The laundry's done, you guys. Yeah. These suitcases are just full of clean laundry. Still, Still also packed. sitting <laughs> where they were when we got home early this morning. But they're full of clean laundry, so that's done. Just gotta unload yes. them. And that'll be piece of cake because I actually put them into the suitcases of what goes in what room. Wow, that is I next level organization. The only thing I haven't done myself that I want help with is these boys taking them upstairs. I was offering and volunteering to take those upstairs. The only issue is, guys, my shoulder is trash. I think I'm out of commission. They're teasing me, guys. I actually feel like I kind of got wrecked really hard. We didn't make a big deal out of it in the video because I was like, I don't want to do a whole hurt my shoulder thing, but I came out he of the really water. Did. He walked out of the water like this. Just holding oh. it. Hey, Kyle driving straight onto my bus. Mm. No. <laughs> These guys love to tease me. It hurt like yeah. crazy. I think the only <laughs> the only positive side and good news is that once you do that kind of an injury, it's just out. So any like cartilage or anything that had built up around it, I think it just kind of re-snapped. It was actually kind of crazy because you walked out of the water and I was like, oh my gosh, it looks normal. <laughs> so something's it going on. Like that bone normal. got moved somewhere. We don't know where, but it is bruised and hurting on the backside. I told the kids that wrecking my one wheel by running into Hazy in the street in front of the house doesn't seem as cool as, oh yeah, I trashed it, get wrecked by a wave, Shut bro. Up. So, you know, I kind of got trashed. Shaka. <laughs> bro. So Speaking of that, we are finishing off today, our first day back home, watching Chasing Mavericks. It just feels incredibly appropriate. So awesome. Some big waves surfing after we were chasing those big waves those in Maui. Waves that was awesome. cool. I was a little bummed I didn't get in on them. I don't want to leave Hazy on the side. Now they, they were too yeah, big hazy. for Hazy. Plus you can't swim, so there's that. I'm honestly, <laughs> you were laugh. I am not a great swimmer. <laughs> but you crushed it snorkeling, took Hazy clear out, like almost yes. another island away. Because we had probably the most fun we've had in a very long time on this vacation. So make sure you go back and watch every single one of the videos. We can't even I pick our favorite. Uh, are we already talking about what's coming up next? I didn't know if you wanted to say that. We've been spending the time here at the island tonight discussing our next trip, where, when, Which what we're going to do. Which island we will go to next. We were feeling really good about it. And then all of a sudden, Ryler threw it on its head and we actually think we know what we're going to be doing. It's going to be amazing. You guys are going to love it. So that's going to be coming up sometime, sometime, sometime. Yeah. shortly. <laughs> We are going to attempt to get the kids into bed for like a nighttime version of sleeping. It is 3.30 in Hawaii right now. So it's gonna be interesting to see how that bedtime goes, but I'm thinking we're all pretty tired. I hope we can actually fall asleep and get a night's I worth of sleep tonight. Those, I think they'll get some rest because yeah. even though they slept, I think they're still a little tired. Despite like the red eye, the time adjustment, the jet lag, it feels amazing to be home. It's yes, great it to be back at home base. We absolutely love being at home. Just home. feels good. Speaking of home, tomorrow, say it's time for a check-in on the house, see what's yes. happened, see what's gone down. We know that, I don't think we ever talked about this. They've flown the trusses in and put the roof in while we were gone. We got some fun pictures of it. We wanna go see it in person. Upstairs is framed out with the kids' bedrooms. Yeah. That's what I'm hoping. It would be so fun so. to go see. So we'll go check that out. And also, guys, we never got a chance to walk through the Suvis. So to do a full souvenir haul of everything we brought home from Hawaii yeah, let's do that tomorrow. tomorrow. So that's coming up. Make sure you come back for that. Getting back in your team. good ones, too. There's some fun stuff. We love you. Thanks for hanging out with us this last week as we went to Maui. <laughs> Always love having you here with us. So if you are new around here, go down below, subscribe. Come hang out with us every single day. We love you. We'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Aloha. I don't know how it does that. It's my first I week. Is it still recording? Is it recording? How does this even work? Is that? Are you guys website managers? Okay. <laughs> guys, what up? We picked up some additional. Hello.